great for you. Holding loan companies usually trap you into paying rates as high as 700%. Good morning. What's up, Latara? Did I say that right? Latara Tillman, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my madness. Who else we got on the line? Good morning or good afternoon. It depends on what side of the world you're on. <laughs> or good night. One drink big. How are you? What it do? What it do? It's Wednesday already. Hey, my heart underscore Malaysia. How goes thou? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. What's up, Vegas in this thing? How's it going? Welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's where you're currently at. <laughs> How you say that? V-Ride? What up, 05 V-Ride? Oh, so you're from Baton Rouge and you went to Vegas without me? Shame on you. Shame on you. How could you leave me? Good to go. I like Vegas. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to Vegas, but I wanted to like Vegas. I could have liked Vegas if you'd have took me to Vegas. Field trip. <laughs> Good morning. As you can tell, I'm at work. We miss you too. Come home. This, are you coming home for the holidays? Oh, what took you to Vegas? You're working out there in Vegas? You're living there now? What? What happened? How did you decide that you wanted to leave us? Hey, Face Sky. How are you, Face Sky? From one face to another. Welcome, family. <laughs> so listen, I have some, did you know, news briefs. Hey, Mr. D. Patterson, what it do? Uncle Scott B. Hey, good morning, afternoon, night, Wednesday. Thursday if you're in Japan. <laughs> and I also have a random other fact that they're catching on fire. So when I was looking at one of the interviews yesterday and they were talking about the hoverboards, it's because they let them charge too long. Like you can't leave them on a charger for over an hour, hour and a half or something like that. Hey, helmet, elbow, and knee pads. All that. All that got to come together. And that's just me thinking out loud. In that $8 billion, how many times a day do you think you check your phone? Hey, B. Phillips, what's up? How many times a day are you checking your phone? They say the average American checks their phone at least 46 times a day. I know I'm way worse than that. I am. Like, but I need to say it. I need to say it. I, I need to. And Twitter allows me to do that. And then I'm still checking my space to make sure I'm still in your top eight. Because that's love. You know, Tom, he followed rocking together since like 97. I feel some type of way. I don't know if I need to break it off with him. Or if he broke it off with me and that's his way of saying it, it ain't it ain't working. <laughs> hey, Kawan versus I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. So how many times a day do you check your phone? Is it at least 46 times a day? Like they say the average American does. Which I check my phone at least 46 times before I even get out of bed. So I'm at about a hundred before I leave out the house. That's that's obsessive, isn't it? fault us for that i don't fault us for that the phone does everything but keep a signal so you got to check the weather on your phone you get direction account and you got to keep up with that your calendars on your phone all that all that so it's not our fault it, you know what as a matter of fact my research is going to be different when they say that the um americans total <laughs> oh wait a second so you know the movie pretty woman pretty woman don't don't walking down the street Random news that you probably cannot use. It was supposed to be called 3000. Season being a part of the show. I'm excited about it. Wow, wait. Wow, wait. So I was going to announce it in January, but we're family. So I'm telling you first because I just got stoked about it. I got an email near you with a field trip trying to see what's going on in the capital city and surrounding areas. And it's going to give me an excuse to get to Vegas. Like I need to see what's going on in Vegas. So that way I could just say, hey, this is what happened on my scene why not? why not we're going to vegas we're going to vegas and then maybe i can elope in vegas with elvis and his blue suede shirt. yeah well first things first we'll film in vegas and maybe he'll be walking down the street or standing in the chapel just waiting for somebody to say i do hey teamwork or flashing out decide to flash a smile because bail money is going to be hard to come by. It's Christmas and I ain't got it. <laughs> All right, let me get my butt back to work. I'll be back in about an hour and a half. I'll be calling you, okay? All right? I love you and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. So you might as well love me back. <laughs>